I was just at this conference and I'm gonna steal the story. There was a man who spoke on the panel and he was connected to the original Jaws film. And he was involved with the photography, I believe, but he actually said, we looked at that first day of dailies and I thought, my God, we've got a clunker here. I mean, she's basically treading water and that's all she's doing is treading water. How are we gonna make this interesting? By the time John Williams got through with it, we were all afraid. And it was the same footage of this girl just treading water, dark water, but suddenly <laughs> it was something else. And so it is a really powerful um, asset to anything visual, I think. Sometimes enhancing that scene or that moment can mean going as far away from it as possible in the musical direction. Um, someone once said to me in a class, uh, I'm not quoting it exactly, but words to the effect of, you know, if you have a scene that's set in the rain and it's raining and the actors are wet and they're talking about rain, for God's sake, don't write rain music. There's such a way as beating you over the head. Sometimes the most amazing effect can be had from going in the complete opposite direction musically. And uh, so you have to be willing to explore all those possibilities and hopefully have a director that's willing to explore those with you. And obviously that's what makes the great film composers stand out from the okay film composers is that they're, they're also thinking of that as well. I like all of those kinds of uses. Um, I'm not real crazy about, I'm aware of the business aspect of everything, including a soundtrack deal. Uh, for a CD, but I'm not a big fan of when they just gratuitously pop in songs sort of willy-nilly throughout the film because they've got to get in that film so they can say that they belong on the soundtrack. And unfortunately, that's kind of where a lot of soundtracks ended up going um, a few years back was they really became the compilations of that day and they were so lucrative that labels were willing to acquire the rights to them for you know substantial amounts of money and in return they wanted to make sure they got placed on that soundtrack cd all of the people they wanted to make sure got a push and sometimes it meant popping in songs that maybe didn't quite fit or didn't go in that spot but when a song works it can really just be amazing um it's a it's an old film and maybe your students don't even know it or haven't seen it but i always think of uh the first time i saw the killing fields um, which, you know, is a spectacular film. Um, and you go along and you go along and you finally get to the very end and all of a sudden at the very end, here comes Imagine by John Lennon. And it's such a powerful use of, of the song. Um, and the, the camera kind of pulls back and there isn't any dialogue and the lyric speaks for itself, but it speaks absolutely to everything that just came before the two hours that you sat through. And so, you know, it could be a fantastic thing. And score is just score. I love score.